Frank Higgs was a real popular guy in Grandview High School. Some people characterized him as the class clown. Later when he went to Ohio State was nicknamed Dude by people that he hung around with, one of whom was Milton Kniff. They were both fraternity men. They were not in the same fraternity, but during that time at Ohio State, fraternities were a big part of social life. So they knew each other because they did stuff together as frat boys. In 1934, Milton Kniff started a comic strip called Terry and the Pirates, and a syndicate executive had suggested the premise for that strip be an adventure based on a real-life story he had read about a woman river pirate in China. And when the Japanese invaded China in the mid-late 1930s, it was just natural that Milton Kniff would incorporate that into his comic strip. Frank Higgs had become a pilot after he graduated from Ohio State. Went to China as a flight trainer, ended up staying in China and working for the Chinese National Airline Corporation, flying cargo planes. Higgs, being an adventurer, decided to go to China to do what he could to further what he understood to be the Chinese fight for freedom against the Japanese. And uh, this involved flying from India over the mountains to China. It was called flying the hump. It was incredibly dangerous. And so when Higgs knew he was gonna do this, he called Kenneth and said, uh, do you want me to write to you and tell you about what's going on in China? Kenneth took Frank up on his offer and Kenneth recognized that he had gold here. He could tell a story about this in his comic strip and really uh, engage readers in a way that he hadn't been able to do. So he created this character named Dude Hennick. Hennick's was a very popular restaurant over on High Street on the east side of campus. So the combination of Frank Dude Higgs and Hennick's became the name of the character in Terry and the Pirates. This is a character drawing of the uh, Dude Hennick character. Uh, and it's kind of fun because uh, if you see the pictures of Frank Higgs, who had uh, very distinctive eyebrows that were horizontal across his face, um, this really looked like him. Kniff had a repertory theater of characters and he would bring them in and take them back and so Dude was a, a stock character in Terry and the Pirates throughout that strip. The real Frank Higgs had more fantastic adventures in his real life than the fictional character did. And after the war was over, after the armistices were signed, he continued to support Chiang Kai-shek. And in the fall of 1945, was flying a jet to try to aid in the escape of the Chinese Nationalist Army, and his plane was shot down. And Kniff found the death of his friend uh, very moving. So the very last Christmas installation of that strip in 1945, was a tribute to Milton Kniff's friend, Frank Higgs. Today, your mind will be on your particular good Joe who didn't come back for Christmas. But if you liked Dude Hennick, you might want to spare a thought for Frank Higgs. Dude died with him. He actually later revived the Higgs name in Steve Canyon. He named the fictional Air Force Base. Higgs Air Force Base. So that was just a little special nod to longtime readers that would make the connection between Higgs and Hennick and this friendship that was a part of Terry and the Pirates. <laughs>